I live in the southern United States. A typical day in the spring and summer may go like this. Blue skies in the morning, clouds begin to build by lunch, and a thunderstorm may hit by early afternoon. My sister lived in Florida for 18 years before she experienced her first hurricane. But the hurricane that did come ashore caused great damage and it took their town several years to recover. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how thunderstorms and hurricanes are formed. Thunderstorms can be fascinating and beautiful and also scary and frightening. Florida is the home to the top four cities that have the highest number of thunderstorms each year. The cities are Tampa, Orlando, Miami, and Jacksonville. The reason why they have so many thunderstorms is that their conditions of warm, moist climate is perfect for forming thunderstorms. So here's how a thunderstorm forms. Step one, warm, moist air is heated and begins to rise upward. Step two, as this warm air rises, it's filled up with moisture and it begins to cool. It condenses and begins to form clouds. Step three, this warm air will continue to rise and eventually will encounter cold air, which will cool the moisture in the clouds and ice may form. Step four, eventually the cooled moisture and ice will begin to fall to the earth. This action creates a downdraft. Step five, the updrafts continue feeding warm, humid air, and the falling moisture creates downdrafts. This creates convection currents. You can see from this video what convection currents look like. The warm water is in red, and the cool water is in blue. These convection currents that are created from the upward movement of moist water and the downward draft of the cool down water create the most violent stage of the thunderstorm. Lightning and strong winds are produced. Step six, eventually the downdrafts will stop the updrafts of warm air. Step seven, when the warm moist air is cut off, the storm begins to die off. There are three main types of thunderstorms, orographic, air mass, and frontal. Orographic thunderstorms are caused by air that is forced up by a mountain or a really large hillside. Air mass thunderstorms are the result of localized convection currents in an unstable air mass. An unstable air mass has both warm and cool or cold air. And finally, frontal thunderstorms occur along the boundaries of weather fronts, like a cold front or a warm front. Hurricane season begins on June 1st and ends November 30th, although hurricanes can and have occurred outside of this time frame. In the North Atlantic and North Pacific, the term hurricane is used. However, in the Northwest Pacific, hurricanes instead are called typhoons. And in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, the same storms get the term tropical cyclones. However, for a hurricane to occur, the following needs to line up. First, a group of thunderstorms needs to move over the ocean. Next, and this is very important, you need warm, moist water. In fact, the water needs to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Also, this water needs to be at this temperature for at least 200 feet deep. Next, you need unstable air that allows this moist air to rise and it needs to be very, very humid and rise up to 18,000 feet. This large amount of water vapor supplies latent heat energy for the storm. Gentle storms in the atmosphere traveling at the same speed and direction are key because this avoids the storm being ripped apart. And then at the top of the storm you need a high pressure system in the upper atmosphere. Put all these ingredients together and you may get a hurricane. However, it may fizzle out. Storms that form north of the equator spin counterclockwise, and storms south of the equator spin clockwise. If you'd like to know more about hurricanes, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.